Tomo News presents Escaped Animals. Zoo animals take over Tbilisi after severe flooding in Georgia. The heart of Georgia's capital looked like something out of a post-apocalyptic movie on Sunday. After dozens of large zoo animals escaped their cages during a debilitating flood. While authorities worked to capture some of the carnivorous animals, the bodies of creatures killed in the flood littered the streets of Tbilisi. The zoo flooded with water from the river Vir, which runs through the middle of the city. The river is normally more like a creek, but on Saturday night, heavy rains caused it to overflow its banks. The waters loosened dozens of animal cages inside the zoo. Three zoo workers were confirmed dead in the flood, including a 25-year veteran who lost one of her arms after a tiger attacked her in May. The escaped animals included 20 wolves, eight lions, and at least six bears and six tigers, according to local reports. Rescue officials focused their efforts on tranquilizing the escaped animals, but they say some of the more dangerous animals had to be killed, including six wolves that were found roaming the grounds of a children's hospital. By Sunday evening, 12 people were confirmed dead in the flood, according to the BBC. There were no reports of deadly animal attacks, but authorities urged residents to stay inside until all of the animals were accounted for. Who's a clever boy then? This dog proved he's smarter than your average pooch when he broke out of his kennel earlier this week and wandered off into the night. The 10-year-old Great Pyrenees named General was lodging at an animal hospital in Stafford, Virginia, while his owners went to Virginia Beach on vacation. And as you can see from the footage, perhaps he wanted out so he could go join them. At around 4.15 a.m. on Monday, General busted out of his temporary accommodation, then opened at least four different doors in his heroic bid for freedom. He'd been staying at the animal hospital for the previous two nights, but clearly had had enough. Here we see the 124-pound dog making his way down a hallway, then sniffing around an office area. If General looks familiar with the surroundings, his owner said that's because the clever canine had been visiting the hospital for the past 10 months. Finally, General uses his mouth to open a door that leads him outside to a parking lot. Then off he went into the night. Around three hours later, hospital staff discovered General was missing and called his owners. The search for the dog went on for most of Monday. He was eventually found at 9 p.m., around 17 hours after he went missing in action. General was sitting in the garden of a nearby home, happy to be in the great outdoors and out of his cage. The dog's owners cut short their vacation to search for the beloved pet, and they were eventually reunited. So who's a clever boy then? 99-year-old woman wakes up to find exotic animal on her chest. This is a kinkajou, a nocturnal mammal from the raccoon family that is native to the rainforests of Central and South America. This week, a 99-year-old woman was asleep in her Miami-Dade County home when an escaped pet kinkajou named Banana snuck into her bed. Maybe Banana was lonely, because she laid on the woman's chest and reportedly caressed her face while she was sleeping. The unidentified woman screamed when she awoke and realized what was happening. The kinkajou fled to the attic where she had to be coaxed down. Kathy Mogari, a friend of the elderly woman, played kinkajou sounds and used cherries to lure the animal into a cage. Mogari took five-year-old Banana to the South Dade Animal Hospital, where Dr. Don Harris tranquilized the scared critter and gave the two-foot-long kinkajou a clean bill of health. The owner of the kinkajou, Raymond Fernandez, said he left Banana with his brother while his home was being tented and she escaped from her cage. Banana was reunited with Fernandez on Wednesday. Fernandez has plans to visit the elderly woman with his kinkajou in tow, but they'll probably wait until she's awake this time so she can spend some quality time with Banana. Kinkajous are also known as honey bears and can live up to 23 years in captivity. They can turn their feet around to climb up and down trees where they spend most of their time. Inky the octopus escapes from aquarium back into the ocean. An octopus residing at the National Aquarium of New Zealand made a daring escape from its tank into the Pacific Ocean. After saying goodbye to his fellow tank mate, Inky the octopus decided to go on a journey of solitude. He slipped through a tiny gap left open by maintenance workers at the top of the tank and traveled three to four meters across the aquarium floor, leaving behind a trail of suction cup prints. Sensing freedom from a small drain pipe, Inky squeezed his body and legs into it and crawled 50 meters through the pipeline until he reached the ocean off Hawks Bay. Staff members at the aquarium are now closely watching Inky's tank mate, the second octopus in residence since the escape. 
Elephant escapes from circus, kills man in Germany. A man was killed after he was attacked by an elephant that escaped from a circus in Germany on Saturday. A man was killed by an elephant that escaped from a circus in Bohem, Germany, on Saturday morning. The victim, a 65-year-old man, was on an early morning walk in the woods collecting bottles and cans, when the 34-year-old elephant trampled him to death. The victim's wife went looking for him when he did not return, but found the dead body of her husband instead. Police suspect that the elephant was released intentionally, or the cage was not properly locked. The elephant was later captured and returned to the circus. Alligators escape and pigs are rescued during China flood. Over the past week, severe flooding has devastated parts of central and southern China, killing almost 130 people, destroying more than 1.9 million hectares of crops, and leading to direct economic losses of more than 38 billion yuan or 5.7 billion U.S. dollars. During the storm, 92 alligators escaped from a local farm in Anhui Province, the same area that houses the Anhui Research Center of Chinese Alligator Reproduction, the largest breeding center for 10,000 reptiles, including the endangered Yangtze alligator species. The escaped alligators swam over their enclosure walls when floodwaters filled their pens. Authorities sent out a warning to locals and have taken measures to reinforce alligator pens at the center. As of July 7th, only eight of the alligators from the farm have been recaptured. In another part of Anhui, 1,000 pigs were saved when their enclosures flooded earlier in the week. Among 3,000 pigs, only a third were mature enough to be slaughtered and therefore saved. Kind of ironic. The Shishang Group, the company that led the rescue, said the operation was quite expensive. As for the remaining 2,000 oinkers, well, their fate is probably left up to the gators. Zeke the monkey delights and terrifies Florida neighborhood. Well, that's the strangest dog I've. Wait a second, that there's a. Yep, that was a macaque monkey named Zeke going bananas in the wild state of Florida. Early Monday morning, a local resident called the cops to report a monkey eating mail out of a mailbox. Another local who stopped her car to watch Zeke's monkey business must have pissed off the primate as he pounced on her car, jumping up and down in wild abandon. Jumanji! When police arrived, Zeke decided their unmarked squad car needed some redecorating and began peeling off the car's trimming, making a total macaquery of the law. After a few more minutes of animalistic behavior, an officer decided to offer Zeke some water. And as he began fiddling with the bottle, boom! Zeke was captured. Ha! Fell for the old "give the monkey a water bottle" routine. Zeke's unidentified owner was found to have the proper permits and a legal enclosure for the animal that includes three perching areas. But the owner was cautioned by cops, as Zeke also escaped back in 2012 and reportedly scratched someone. Naughty monkey! No one was injured, including Zeke. But where do you come down on exotic pets? Fun or foolish? And please do us all a favor and come up with some better puns. Runaway pet kangaroo hops around New York. A runaway kangaroo named Buster caused quite the commotion Saturday morning after he got loose and hopped around a New York City neighborhood until police arrived to help capture him. The one and a half year old was reportedly brought over to Staten Island. By its upstate New York owner on Friday night, so he could be shown off to his owner's friends. Initially kept in a backyard enclosure, Buster escaped after the enclosure's gate was left unlatched. He made his way into a nearby parking lot and got a chance to finally experience true freedom. Sadly, it didn't last, and police arrived within 15 minutes to spoil the fun. Authorities surrounded the marsupial. But his owner arrived just in the nick of time to explain the whole situation. It's unsurprisingly illegal to keep kangaroos in New York City, but Buster's owner, an apparent exotic animal enthusiast who's previously owned a peacock and even a zebra as pets, escaped scot-free and wasn't charged or even issued a ticket. Monkey see, monkey do at the Kansas City Zoo. Visitors at the zoo got a special treat on Thursday afternoon. Seven chimps escaped from the monkey house at around 3:30 p.m. The ringleader of the great escape pulled down a branch from one of the trees, then leaned the branch against the wall and convinced other chimps to follow suit. Six chimps joined in on the monkey business and climbed onto the wall. They made their way into the zookeeper's area, and the rest of the zoo was freaking out. <laughs> Okay, maybe not that much, but they did issue a code red and ushered all visitors into locked buildings. The chimps never did make it into any public areas, and 
Zookeepers were able to use malted milk balls to lure the chimps back into their area. The ordeal lasted an hour and a half, and things were back to normal for the 5 p.m. dinner time. What's next? Taking over humanity? Four baboons in San Antonio proved to be quite a handful when they freed themselves from a research center last Saturday by climbing over a barrel and an enclosure wall. According to Texas Biomedical Research Institute, the facility holds about 1,100 baboons for vaccine tests and drug therapy. The enclosure area has inward-leaning walls to keep baboons from escaping, but the blue barrels filled with grains were recently added so animals can roll them around to shake out food. However, one clever baboon figured out how to place a barrel upright and use it to get to the top of the wall. Three other baboons saw this and joined in on the great escape. One baboon later decided to surrender and return to the enclosure. Wise choice, buddy. Southwest National Primate Research Center's animal care team captured two of the three baboons, while the last one was caught after it was called back with verbal and hand signaling commands. To avoid another great escape, the Institute decided to remove the barrels. The Institute told Gizmodo the baboons were not being tested for meds that enhance intelligence. Instead, the baboons in the corral were typically used for breeding. In response to the incident, the Institute said they've been caring for research baboons for more than 50 years. The baboons have played an important role in helping to develop life-saving drugs, therapies, and vaccines, and also helping scientists learn more about chronic human diseases. Move over, Gordon Ramsay. There's a new beast in charge of the kitchen. Well, in Calgary, anyway. There's no indication why the gorillas at Calgary Zoo went ape and decided to break into the keeper's kitchen next to their enclosure for a second time this year. But they don't need everything. This is But we are guessing that it must have had something to do with the quality of the food. Either way, the keepers must have had a shock when they entered the kitchen to find several of the zoo's western lowland gorillas inside. The zoo was happy to report that no one was hurt, but said two zookeepers have been disciplined as a result of this latest episode of Guerrilla Warfare.